It is finally time for the last PGA tournament of the season, but that doesn't mean there isn't plenty to talk about here. What's up, everybody? Ben Razza here from Odd Chopper, bringing you my best bets for the Wyndham Championship as the PGA Tour regular season comes to a close. Of course, the FedEx Cup playoffs will be starting very soon, and golf really never ends. So we'll have a lot to talk about, but I have dug through, got the field, and I think there are a couple places that we can attack. If you're hopping in for the first time, checking out this channel, welcome to Odd Shopper. We've got you covered for all things betting here and talk about a way to make some free money in a little bit. But let's dive in to what we've got in the PGA Tour world here at the Wyndham Championship, courtesy of BetMGM. I've got a couple bets on the screen. I'm going to break them down, and then I will talk about that risk-free bet that you can get at BetMGM in just a second. So Let's get things started. Little background on this tournament. Obviously, the goal here is to get inside the top 125 for the FedEx Cup playoffs. Some guys, of course, are secure. Others are fighting on that bubble. Pretty easy course. Uh, pretty quick greens. Bermuda, par 70. Small, technical. You don't need to be a bomber. But a lot of birdies are going to be made. I think that's the important thing uh, to note. That's what we should expect, and I think we will see here. Where am I getting my card started? Harold Varner the third. I love this bet at 40 to 1. I think that's just a really good number on him. This is a guy that he's been very close to breaking through on the PGA Tour. Runner up at Heritage, a third at Heritage. He's been really close inside the top 10. Seventh at Wyndham in 2020. Tenth at Wyndham in 2017. This is one of the courses that we've seen him thrive at. And I get it. Uh, it makes sense. His irons have been immaculate lately. He's been positive with the irons in seven straight events where we have strokes gain data made the cut in three or four of the majors this year. He's just playing quality golf. Has he put it all together? No, but he's been very close. Again, a top 10 at the players, third at the Heritage. This is the type of guy that I think he's going to continue to give himself chances, and eventually he is going to cash that. At 40 to 1 in this field, when I looked at the outright market, obviously you've got you know Webb and Sunjay and Henley and those guys, as you can see on the screen. But man, uh, to see the odds at 40 to 1, I was very happy to put my money down on Varner. I think he can give us a sweat, and I don't think it's out of the realm that we see him hosting a trophy sooner rather than later. So I'm getting my card started with Harold Varner III as the winner of the Wyndham Championship. Again, as I mentioned, let's talk about this. If you are new to BetMGM and you haven't taken advantage of it, use the link in the description of the video, or you can just use the promo code OSPGA, and you're going to get that risk-free bet of up to $1,000. So if you put in some money... You're going to be able to bet that risk-free. And if you lose, you get that money back in free bets. You have that opportunity. If you win, boom, bankroll boost. And if you lose, you have not lost anything. You get that money back in free bets. A great way to take advantage. You can do up to $1,000, but you don't have to. So you say, you know what? I only want to put in a couple hundred bucks. More power to you. You get a couple hundred dollars in that risk-free bet, an opportunity to cash that ticket. If you don't want to be as aggressive with the outright, got a top 10 bet that I really like. And it's an interesting name, one we haven't heard a ton about lately. That's Ty Hatton, who's a really talented player. I would say he's had a pretty rough year, to be honest, with his expectations. It's not to say he isn't making cuts consistently on the PGA Tour. He's only missed one cut since basically all year, and that's at RBC Canada. But the majors have not been great. 11th at the Open, 56th at the U.S. Open, 13th at the PGA, and 52nd at the Masters. It's good that he found the weekend, but I expect a little more, and I think he does as well. He was runner-up at api once again he seems to love that course and he certainly loves bermuda greens we don't see him a lot in tournaments of this caliber usually he's showing up in the best fields majors and things like that obviously has some experience over in europe of course and still plays over there a little bit i like the spot three to one for a top 10 we know that he can you know obviously be on the first page of the leaderboard but ty hatton in a field like this I have no problems that he can make enough birdies, anything like that. He can roll it really well. And the form isn't nearly as bad as I think people imagine. Again, 11th at the Open, 24th at the Scottish. U.S. Open was next. Miscut, 13th at the PGA, Wells Fargo. What this has in common, all those events, strong fields, difficult courses, top-end things. Now we go to Sedgefield, we go to Wyndham. I think this is a big class drop for a guy like Ty Hatton. I actually like him in the spot to quietly get in the mix and for me a top 10 still at three to one is something I can get on board with if he played more events like this if he played the John Deere and the Rocket Mortgage and the 3M I think we would see him you know in a lot in contention a lot more and obviously the odds would reflect that I will take my three to one top 10 easily and put it on my card so we've got Varner as the outright Hatton as that top 10 
Where are we going for our top 20? Oh my God, Patrick Rogers makes the video once again. Can't quit this guy. We are getting plus 350. Again, it's all about the number. I shopped at an odd shopper. I really do like that number. You can find a little better out there. That's even better, of course. But I'm comfortable with plus 350 for a top 20 Patrick Rogers. Things I like. He's making weekends. He's made 8 of 10 cuts on the PGA Tour here over this last stretch. He's positive with the irons in the majority of them. Positive in 7 out of 8 in terms of strokes gain data. He's got a good putter long term. He's always been a good putter. That's an asset. The problem for him, one is around the green. He's lost in seven straight. That's, of course, going to be an issue. And two, it's rarely consistent. Some weeks he has it with the driver. Some weeks he has it with the putter. Some weeks he has it with the irons. Rarely does he sync them up. But to me, that gives us upside. And again, at plus 350, we're not asking him to win the tournament. We're just asking, can he find this weekend and climb that leaderboard? We saw him do that at Mexico. He came in 10th. We saw him do that in Canada. He came in 18th. 31st at the U.S. Open, 30th at the John Deere, 44th at the Rocket Mortgage. That's not cashing this ticket, but it is giving us a chance. And when you're backing things like top 20s at plus money like this, all you can really ask for is a chance. I think that Patrick Rogers has the skill set. There's no doubt the talent is there. I don't think it's the best setup in the world for him. He's more of a bent grass guy, uh, more, more of a guy that thrives maybe in difficult conditions. But at the same time, I don't think this is something that could limit him in any way. When I look, he does have some experience at Wyndham. He's played in this event five years. He's got a mixed bag. He's made the weekend four or five. But at the same time, a couple loss with the irons. A couple lost off the tee. One had a cold putter. That's kind of what we're getting from him in this season and long term in terms of his pedigree on the PGA Tour. I'm comfortable taking the shot. I think Patrick Rogers can lean on the putter, keep it in the fairway, and he will be just fine. Harold Varner, Ty Hatton, and Patrick Rogers. Quite a card, but that's what we get on the last tournament of the year. Hit me in the comments. Let me know who is the guy that you're on for that top 20, that sneaky play that maybe nobody else is on. I certainly want to hear about it. Maybe I will tell some of them, particularly if it's someone, unless it's Ricky Fowler, I don't think I can do that. But Patrick Rogers is on the card again. Thanks to BetMGM for sponsoring this video. And thanks to you guys. We have done this each and every week, the entire year, and it has been an absolute blast. And it's because of you guys watching and supporting. And don't think for a second, we won't have plenty of content as the FedEx Cup begins. So good luck. Enjoy the Wyndham Championship. And I will talk to you guys soon.